how to add your bank account to Shopify. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can connect your bank account to your Shopify account. Now, Shopify is one of the world's largest e-commerce tools out there, which allows you to build your own amazing, stunning store and allows you to easily manage all of your e-commerce needs in one space. So connecting your bank is going to be directly intertwined with connecting a payment provider. There are several different ways that you can accept payments on Shopify and if you want automated payments such as card payments or Klarna or any other type of payment processing, you're going to have to connect to a payment provider which usually can be Shopify payments, but in certain regions, Shopify payments is not available. So you're gonna have to go for a third-party provider. And I'm gonna be showing you guys step-by-step step on how to get started. So let's get started. The first step is to log on to your Shopify store and you're just going to log on to your dashboard. Once you log on to your dashboard, you're going to go into settings on the bottom left and then you're going to click on payments. Once you click on payments, you're going to click on choose a provider. And once you click on choose a provider, you're going to have several different types of payment gateways. So in terms of payment gateways, you can really choose whichever one you prefer. It's going to recommend certain, you know, payment gateways depending on whichever region you are in. Ideally, I recommend going for Shopify payments. That is honestly one of the best, you know, payment providers out there because it is going to provide you with the lowest um, transactional fees. And you can just search for the provider over here. And for us, I currently think I'm just going to go with whatever is popular in my region. So going into my store, I have Iden Payment, Asia Bill Payments Direct. I have Integration Use Pay. And I'm just going to scroll down stripe tap pay i'm gonna go with iden payments once i do that i'm going to click on install and once i click on install it will open up iden payments as a you know application which i'm going to install so you're going to click on install once more and once you click on install once more you're going to choose the type of account you want to link i'm just going to make this a test account for now you're going to make it a live account. Once you do that, you're going to choose your username. So this is going to be Lily Davis and we're going to click on next over here. We're going to enter our Gmail and then build a password. Click on login. This is giving us a issue for which we're going to have to recreate our account. So I'm just going to go into add in payments. Once I do that, we're going to go back and we're just going to sign on. We're going to click on login. Then once we do that, we're just ensuring that our sign up is complete like so. And once we've done that, we will see add in payments in our Shopify store. And at the bottom of your payment section, you're going to see the section where you have to link your bank account or your payment section makes you connect to your bank account by default. Now, for some reason, add in payments is having a bit of an issue right now. So let's try this out on a different one. We're going to go with Asia Bill, click on install. Once we do that, again, we're going to follow the same steps. And there is another way where you can add your bank account to your Shopify store. That is via a manual payment method. So you're going to fill in your information, such as your Shopify key and your gateway ID. So you're going to have to go ahead and add that over there. And once you do that, you can proceed. Now, if you want to add a manual payment method where you have your bank details in your Shopify store checkout, they are not, you know, directly embedded in your payment processor. You can go into payments, scroll down and add a manual payment method. Let's say this is going to be a custom payment method, which is going to be bank account deposit. And I'm going to add additional details. So um, this is going to be pay or transfer funds directly into our bank account we're going to add our payment instruction so take a screenshot of your order total send the total amount to you know whatever bank it is you're going to add bank 
account number or any other information and then send screenshot of order and payment confirmation to whatever your email address is you're going to add that and then just click on activate once you do that this manual payment method will be added and whenever a customer is looking to check out and they are looking to just transfer funds into your bank account without having to use their own debit card they would have you know a direct bank account deposit which they can do However, this is not something that I personally recommend. I always recommend going for a automated checkout process, which ensures that there's no fraud or, you know, any type of issues on both ends because you can get uh, fraudulent payments and customers can, you know, say that they sent out the money and you never shipped out the product. So having a direct support, uh, you know, having a direct payment system supports you and any of your claims or any of your customers claims as well so because shopify has such a diverse variety of payment providers available you can find honestly one or two payment providers that are going to fill all of your needs and you can just choose between them they are going to be operational almost everywhere not even almost actually globally there is honestly nowhere where you cannot you know get started with your payment you guys can see we have activated all of this we can simulate test mode we're going to click on activate once we do that we can go back once we go back our test mode has been turned off and then we can add more information about our cards or you know our direct payment processing once you turn off your test mode you can click on save once you click on save over here you're going to see our checkout systems are going to be configured as well and just like that we have our own payment system which is going to be linked to our bank if you enjoyed this video i would recommend that you please leave a like and if you have any questions regarding this video regarding any other video or regarding any social platform then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below and i will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our youtube channel i want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing i will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video